Hello, my name is Colin Doyle, and I am a senior consulting engineer at Juniper Networks. And today I am so happy to say that I am starting the first in a series of videos on building your own Abstra EVNG multi-fabric with DCI Lab. Now it's been a minute since I did a video series like this, and I believe that was either 4.01 or 4.02. So it's fair to ask, why am I doing a new series? Version 4.2.1. It's not out yet, but it will be released any minute now. In Abstra 4.2.1, a number of UI UX changes have been made. Nothing too significant, but if you're familiar with what Abstra looked like before, you'll notice things like this menu on the left has been redesigned, so it's a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more attractive. There's little things like that. Now, these were not included in Abstra 4.2.0. Because I have access to the pre-release versions of 4.2.1, I figured use the version that's got the UI updates to make the video series more durable over time. I don't expect there to be enormous changes between the UX from this version to some of the near-term future versions but it was pretty dramatic between 4.2.0 and 4.2.1. Another reason is that we have new virtual platforms out. If you did go through that first series, you'll remember that the VQFX required quite a bit of prep before it could even be deployed in the lab. We now have VJunos, which is emulating an EX platform, and VEVO, which is emulating a PTX platform running our Junos EVO operating system software. Finally, I'm changing roles at the end of this week. It is January 22nd today, and on this coming Friday, I'm going to move out of data center architecture and into our core technologies team, where I will be working with our security leadership on strategy. I'll still do a little bit of data center work, don't worry, I just my heart's there, but my heart's also in security, and I think that there's a great synergy. So you will see, finally, the firewall service chaining uh, it will sit out of scope of this video series. I'll explain why in the next video. I do want to take you quickly through the outcomes we're going to be driving towards. If you are familiar with the previous series, then this will look familiar. It's not quite identical, but the topology and even a lot of the IP space and MAC addresses are the same. I didn't see any reason to change it. The way that I created this lab, I'll take you through in the next video but I copied the topology. I'm also going to be shifting the conversations for these videos to the Juniper Elevate community. There's more details in a video that I'm literally uploading off a different computer right now. Uh, it talks about the reasons behind moving the engagement there. What you need to know is that that's where the discussion happens and I can upload stuff there. So the whew, 272 slide documentation that I put together that is a step-by-step -step of what we're going to be going through in the video series, I can actually give you access to, which is really great because I can't do that with YouTube comments. Finally, uh, when are they going to be released? Uh, well, I'm going to try to get out as many as possible before this Friday. Ha ha. I don't think I'll get through all 11 because of the amount of time it takes to do the post-production work and recording. But I'll make every effort to get as many of them out as possible, and then I expect that there's going to be a bit of a slowdown as I transition into my new role, but I'll keep at it until it's done. Outside of that, I'm just, I'm really glad to be in a position to deliver this content. I really enjoyed putting it together, updating the documentation, uh, thinking out new and interesting use cases that are hopefully helpful to you in the journey that you're going on. Uh, just, I'm, I'm ready to do this. It's, it's super exciting. Uh, thanks again for coming to the channel and engaging with myself and with Juniper. I look forward to getting these other videos up and helping you build your own lab. For now, take care, and I am going to get my environment prepped and start recording the next one. Thank you.